Hello. My name is Patsy, and I live at 714 Shug Street in South Philadelphia. And this is my show, The View from My Stoop. Now, as you all may notice, today we are not actually on my stoop. Well, there's a reason for that. On my show, my viewers can call in or write in or come over across the street and ask me questions about politics or what I think of this or that. And recently, all of your questions have been the same. What the hell is going on with the Philadelphia public school system? I haven't seen that much of a mess since cantaloupes were 10 for $10 at the Acme. Our first question comes today from Paulie the Nudge Monterano. Dear Patsy, my father went to Bach Technical School in South Philadelphia. I went to Bach and my son went to Bach before it closed. There he wants to go to something called a charter school. What the hell is a charter school? Well, to be honest, Paulie, I wasn't quite certain, so I asked around. My next door neighbor, Marie DiVincenzo, said it's a school with a specialty. My other neighbor, Marie Cetafante, said it's a school with a lottery. My other neighbor, Marie Ionelli, said it's kind of like a turkey hot dog. Supposedly better for you, but still full of a lot of crap. So, Paulie, as far as I can tell, if the Acme is a Philadelphia public school, then Cannoli's House of Pork is a Philadelphia charter school. It's smaller, they specialize in one thing, and if they don't call your number, you don't get served. Next question. Dear Patsy, I heard that the cost of a pack of cigarettes might go up to pay for schools. I can't afford to spend $2 on in taxes for every pack of smokes. Isn't there another way to pay for the schools? Why don't they tax those damn farmer's markets? Signed, your cousin Joey. Well, it's good to hear from you, Joey, and I'm glad to know you are at. But be careful of that farmer's market talk. Remember, that restraining order still stands. That said, I have to agree with you that a cigarette tax to pay for the schools is a very bad idea. I think it sends a very confusing message to our kids. The other night at the dinner table, my son Tommy, God bless him, lights up a cigarette. I said, what the hell do you think you are doing? And he said, I'm saving the schools, Ma. I'm saving the schools. Then, the other night, I was babysitting for my granddaughter, Teresa, and for her homework, she had to do a report on a great American. She had her choice between George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and the Marlboro Man. And apparently, they're renaming Andrew Jackson Elementary, Philip Morris High. The cigarette companies are, of course, ecstatic. The other day, my hairdresser Dolores showed me her pack of camels, and on the side it said, warning, cigarette smoking may cause cancer and higher test scores in Philadelphia public school children. Next question. Dear Patsy, my daughter's school in Shermantown was closed, and now she will have to walk a mile to another school. Do you have any advice to give her about walking through other neighborhoods? Signed, Worried Mom. Well, Worried Mom, I don't know where this Germantown you speak of is, but I understand your concern about letting your daughter outside of your neighborhood. A couple years ago, my husband Gene's Uncle Carmine came over for a visit to Philadelphia from Italy. And he says to me, Patsy, he says, I want to see the rural Philadelphia. I want to go to the Mummer Parade. Well, this was the year that some genius had decided to move the parade from Broad Street to Market Street. And I said, hell no, I'm not going to Market Street. It is dangerous up there. I mean, I don't go north of Snyder if I could help it. But Uncle Carmine was insistent, so we took our mace and went. Now, as we're watching the parade, there was a lull in the parade, you know, in between the, in between the floats and the comics and fancies. And so this little girl next to me decides, you know, she's got to spur it and she's going to get things riled up. So she shouts over to the people who are on the other side of the street. She said, we got spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? Nothing from the other side of the street. Finally... God bless her drunken little soul. She says she's going to do it again. So she gets even bigger and louder. And she says, we got spur. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? 
Finally, from the other side of the street, a lone voice shouts, the other side of the street sucks. And I looked at Uncle Carmine and I said, welcome to the rural Philadelphia, a place that wherever you are, whosoever is on the other side of the street sucks. So worried mom, as you're sending your daughter off to her new school, just tell her, don't worry about it if they don't like you. You don't like them either. Enjoy your new school, honey. Next question. Dear Patsy, I just moved here from Virginia and these schools are a mess. Everyone's always yelling about something. There's no money. You find more money. No, you find more money. Close the schools. Open the schools. I get migraines and can't sleep at night. Do you have suggestions on how to get a good night's rest? Side Dr. William Ha. Oh, my golden slippers, I'm late. Ah, we're in trouble. And the long tail coat that I love so well, I'll wear it in the chair in the morning. Oh, them golden slippers. Oh, them golden slippers. Them golden slippers, I'll find a wear.